Because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's about supporting 101st Airborne Division. That's what it's about. Leaders with the 129th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion demonstrate to their soldiers what it takes to support the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault with an Air Assault competition. The 129, we, we support the division. We provide a huge amount of support to the division. And I just want them to know things are going to change in the future on how we do things. The Wedge Challenge put the leaders through a shortened version of the Air Assault School. The event included a six-mile road march, a sling load inspection, the air assault obstacle course, all the while with the air assault instructors right there to grade each event. They brought a lot of motivation. There was, it, it was more than what I expected because a lot of the unit was out here supporting the teams that were having the, uh, the competition. The leaders pushed themselves to prove they have what it takes to be a U.S. Army air assault soldier as an example for their soldiers to follow. It's a lot of pride for every soldier in the unit uh, to be able to say that they're an air assault soldier and air assault qualified. For the 101st Sustainment Brigade of Fort Campbell, Kentucky, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Peter Sinclair. Air assault!